Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're just stumbling on my video for the very first time, my name is Dorothy Chetang and I am a pharmacist living and practicing in Nigeria. So, I usually don't get to do this like all the time but today you notice I'm holding my phone. So, I recently stumbled on a post on Facebook and you know it was a post on an eye drop that was being sold under the brand name Dr. Jesus the Healer. Dr. Jesus the Healer, like seriously, a lot of things are happening in this country. So, because emphasis was laid on the fact that it's a Dr. Jesus um, ES slash eye drop, I need to, you know, debunk a whole lot of information here. So, first and foremost, I know a lot of persons are like, um, yes. It's a faith. I believe that Jesus is going to heal me. So I can decide to buy a Dr. Jesus eye and ear drop and I'll use it. Yes, your faith, whatever it is, works for you. But do not forget that the same Bible talks about the need for knowledge. So in Hosea chapter 4 verse 6, yes, I'm a Christian. It talks about the fact that people the bible says my people perish because of lack of knowledge and that's why in this video i'm going to be you know talking about two major things i observed from this eye drop first and foremost eye drops are supposed to be preparations that are sterile that is they are not supposed to have they are supposed to be made totally clean they are not supposed to have any form of, you know, dirt. It's supposed to be 100% clean. So for a product to be sterile, it means that product is free from any form of microbes, you know, that could, you know, infect your system. And secondly, um, sterile products usually undergo an extra form of purification process aside from, you know, the process that other products that are non-sterile will undergo for a product that is sterile the entire process is done aseptically so looking at this product right here i've attached a picture of it on the screen you can see it there it talks about the eye drop made by dr jesus this is really interesting i just noticed that jesus is even having uh, a word quote putting on a stethoscope this is really fun a very good marketing strategy but let's leave all of that two major things i'd like us to note from this eye drop first is you know it's here i'm looking at it right here so first is the fact that this product does not have a NAFTA registration number yes this product does not have a NAFTA registration number and for a product to be you know approved for sale in nigeria it has to be verified by NAFTA. This tells you automatically that this product has not been verified. Secondly, this product does not even have a session that talks about the contents of this eye slash eardrop. So we don't know if it's water that is inside. It could be pure water. It could be water from the river. And remember, it's talked about sterility. Any product that goes through your eyes or a product that is to enter your ear or directly into your blood, it has to be sterile. So we don't know where this eye drop is coming from. Some person can say it's Jerusalem water. I don't know, even if you are getting water from Jerusalem, it's not sterile. So the water has to be sterile. So it could be pure water. It could even be olive oil that is inside. Anything could be the content of this eye drop. But all you are seeing is Dr. Jesus the healer. For instance, you put this eye drop and all of a sudden you cannot see. And you rush to the hospital hey doctor i cannot see hey. and then the doctor is like what happened to you and you're like i use dr jesus the healer okay let's look at the product we're looking at the product and we don't even know what it contains so where do we even start our intervention from when we do not even know what this eye drop contains so please let's use wisdom when we are doing it. so it's important that any product you're going to be using contains you know the active ingredient so you know what you're actually taking in please and please do not patronize products that just have phone numbers because i tell you if anything happens and you call the number on that 
platform, <laughs> you'll be scammed. <laughs> you just realize that you've been scammed. So I want to believe that this video was helpful. Please remember to always, you know, consult with your pharmacist before you make use of any product. Emphasis on any product at all. I remain your drug queen, Doronal, saying stay safe, stay healthy, and remember to subscribe to my channel click the subscription button below give this video a big like share this video and most importantly drop me your comments in the comment section do take care of yourself and bye for now